All right, call upon the Father for discernment. All of all of you. Um, let's talk about what's going on in the world. All right. Um, so we know what Scripture says. All right, the beast system. Revelation 17 says that all these kingdoms, they're all going to give. Um, they're going to give their nations over to the beast for Scripture to be fulfilled. Amen. That's Revelation 17. All right. So the beast that comes from the sea goes into perdition. Um, it's the same beast. All right. So what is going on in the world? The world is the stage. Amen. And if you can't see that now, I pray that God opens your eyes, man, and lifts the veil off of your eyes. You know what I mean? All right. So you look at... Um, the wars and rumors of wars and everybody fears China. The, the U S always talks about China. Like, do y'all even know, um, the it's China and the U S having a problem with Taiwan. It's, it's all about, um, processor chips. All right. So you have to know that China and the U S are just different heads of the same beast and they're fulfilling a, a role to play on the world stage to get all of you to fall into their hands. All right. Now, you look at Africa, for example, and um, you see all the different um, countries and nations in Africa that have been, like over the past, what, 20, 30 years, the, dest the destabilization, taking out the different leaders. Um, the U.S. has a hand in all of that, all right? And they destabilize the region. And then what does it create? It creates a, a, a nation of people that need help, right? So what does China do? China's the one that steps in. If you look at who, who goes in and, and, and is helping Africa build their infrastructure, it's China. And they're doing it on loans. You know how that works, right? You know how a loan works. So... I'm going to give you the money. I'm going to come over there. I'm going to bring my own workers over there. We're going to build these things for you so you can have what you need. Now, when you default on your payments, this is my stuff. I own all of this. You don't own anything. I came over here. I used my material, my workers, and I gave it to you on a loan. And now that you can't pay it, I'm going to repossess, repossess everything, right? Like, do y'all even know that the Panama Canal, <clears throat> do y'all know that, um, about the, the Chinese influence that's down there. Go down to the Panama Canal and you're going to ask yourself, why Why is there, it's like, uh, there's a lot of Chinese influence down there. Why? It's a major shipping port, isn't it? All right, so if you, if you think for a second that one side is good and one side's evil, you're in for a surprise because they're all evil and they're all in, in bed together to fulfill the words of Scripture. Like, let's get into the AI thing, all right? You know Sophia, right? The, the AI robot, right? Where did she come from? Hanson Robotics? Hong Kong? Okay. Was it 2016, 2017? The, this artificially, in, this AI robot from Hong Kong becomes an official citizen of Saudi Arabia. Come again? So, this intelligence robot, that's all, it's literally a citizen of Saudi Arabia. What do you see going on in Saudi Arabia now? You see Neom, right, the line. You see all the, all the um, green energy ideas that they're pushing, all the AI advancements. Why do you think that is? Like, you know, Sophia's part of the UN Council too, right? There's an AI robot that was given a seat at the UN table from Hong Kong I thought that's an enemy like do y'all even know what's going on in the world man you know what I'm saying so <clears throat> and now you see what the WEF is doing with like the transhumanism and um, man man human beings are hackable creatures and through technology we're gonna become like gods that's their words man they, they literally say this stuff themselves so, do you really know what's going on in the world? Do you know what side you're on? 
Y'all are over here picking left and right in the flesh when y'all aren't even on the right side with Jesus. Because Jesus is just sitting back looking at both of them like, Scripture's got to be fulfilled. Patience and faith. His chosen and faithful are with him, and they overcome the beast. The saints are overcome by the beast because they don't have patience and faith. They're killing with the sword. They're going to be killed with the sword. They're leading into captivity. They're going into captivity too. That's why it's written. All right. So his chosen and faithful are going to ride with him and overcome the beast. All right. But scripture has to be fulfilled. Amen. So it's all in our faces. It's just a matter of are you are you accepting it are you are you seeing it and be like okay it's time or are you seeing it and you're like nah that's not what's going on you're crazy i'm praying for you you can call me crazy all day long man i'm not worried about that <laughs> the lord wishes for none to perish for all to find repentance amen and he's going to make sure that people hear about his truth before calamity comes all right so don't be foolish. Amen. Take heed to his instructions. All right. Let him clean out your house. Amen. Because the destroyer will have access to whoever's house is not sealed. Well, I pray that you have his seal on your house. Amen. So just keep that in mind when uh, you start looking around and picking one side over the other. Like if you don't really know what's going on in the world, why are you picking one side over the other? Get on the side with Jesus before time runs out. I love you.